All right, while I have these out, let's uh, do another one. This is the Strike Dagger from Gundam Seed, which I have started watching, but I'm only about eight episodes in. I haven't seen this guy yet. My understanding is it's a mass-produced mobile suit for some side or other. I don't know. I don't care. Um, this is a nice, fun little suit. Not, not nearly as many accessories as the Zaku that we just looked at. Um, but this one was also only like 10 bucks, so I don't mind. Uh, you can see that it's got a white background here and here. So all of mine look like this on the shelf, except for the Zaku, which has a nice big red background. So Strike Dagger, sorry, Strike Dagger is an interesting little design. Um, you can, if you're familiar with this, the Strike from Seed, you can see the similarities. Um, I don't have my Robot Damashi Strike handy at the moment, so we can't compare them. It's got a good little head with blue eyes, I like that. It's only got one crest, which is interesting. And it's got one little hole back there on his backpack, instead of two. He's nice and maneuverable, same, similar to the Zaku. His butt plate's a little bit more... It's movable, it's not got a lot of range, and it just pops out really easily. But you can get out of the way a little bit. Side skirts are on a ball joint as well. Front skirts get very out of the way so you can do whatever you want. So, really close to figure arts articulation on this. Not a whole lot of ab crunch, but enough. And his waist moves. Lots of movement in the head. All right. Um, something I didn't do on the Zaku review that I should have done. That's why I will do it here. As soon as I can get this guy to stand up straight. So he's as tall as he can be. And let's put him next to a figure arts because I collect a lot of those. This is one of my most recent ones. So unfortunately, the robot Damashis are tiny. Um, I wish they were bigger. That's my only main complaint with the line in general is I wish they were bigger. They're not all in scale with each other like the high grades, high grade kits are. Um, although I guess some of them are close, but oh well. I wish they were bigger, like closer to six inches or eight inches even, like a master grade. Here's his accessories. He's got a little adapter dealy with a ball joint and a shield. I like the shield design. It's cool. Um, ball joint plugs into there, click, and then plugs into that little slot. And now he's got a shield. He's got a beam saber blade, which is nice and yellow, and a beam saber hilt, which plugs into that one little hole back here. Um, he's got two fists for punching things which pop on and off very nicely. He's got two trigger hands and two beam saber holding hands. Oh look, I put that on the other hand. Because I had him get it out this way. Click. These are a lot easier to get on than the Zaku's hands were. And they usually make a nice satisfying click when you do it. It looks like he can reach back and grab his beam saber, so that's cool. This butt plate does fall off a lot. Oh, poor denim. He's dead. Stop. Oop. You gotta pull it out with you. Just slides in there. It doesn't actually grip the hilt that tightly. It will probably fall out if you flip it upside down. Maybe not. The beam saber blade just goes in like that, and bam. That's all there is to this guy. He's not got a lot of accessories. He's not a big flashy suit. Um, but. I kind of want another one because he is fun and he's cheap. They're all over Mandaraki for 10 to 15 bucks. He has one final accessory, and that is this little widget dealie, which slides up 
just going to pull this off because it's going to fall off anyway. It slides up there. And then you can take a Tamashi stage, which I happen to have handy. And plug it in. And now he can fly too. So, that is that. Like I said, fun little guy. Not too expensive. Um, it's still a good, a good example of the articulation of the line, if not the ones that have a plethora of accessories. A shield, a gun, a beam saber, and three total pairs of hands. It's not a lot, but for cheap, it was worth it. So, thanks for watching.